Welcome to another Getting Started video for Octopus Deploy. This video will cover API keys in Octopus Deploy. By the end of this video, you should have a better understanding of what is an API key and where you'd use it, how to create an API key for your user in Octopus Deploy, and finally, recommendations on how to best leverage API keys. Let's get started. Before getting started with the demo, it is important to understand some core concepts with Octopus Deploy. The Octopus Deploy UI is a single page application written in React that interacts with a RESTful API. Any action performed in the UI can be done via the API. API keys are required if you wish to invoke the API outside of the UI. You can see the API's various endpoints by going to the Swagger definition. To view that Swagger definition, click on the Help button in the top right corner. Then click on Resources, and then click on Search API Documentation. This will bring up the Swagger UI, which lists out the various endpoints and resources. If you're not familiar with this UI, clicking on each item will show parameters, models, and potential error codes. Authentication to the RESTful API can be done via a cookie or an API key. Cookies are useful for the web UI, but not great for headless interaction, such as running a script or a build server. The API key makes it easy to interact with the RESTful API in a variety of use cases. To create an API key for your account, click on your name in the top right corner. Then select Profile. Click on My API Keys in the left menu. Then click on the New API Key button. Give the API key a purpose and click Generate New to generate that new key. Please note, API keys are hashed in the database. Once you close this modal window, you will not be able to recover the API key from Octopus Deploy. Store the key in a password manager or some other secure location. That's it. You have created your first API key. Here are some tips to keep in mind when creating API keys for Octopus Deploy. API keys associated with your login should be used sparingly. For example, writing a POC script or trying out something with the API. Don't share your API keys with anyone. Any action performed using an API key associated with your account will show up in the audit log as you performing the action. And finally, when you need to share an API key or configure a build server integration, use service accounts in Octopus Deploy. For more information on service accounts, please click the link which just appeared in the top right corner. Links to additional resources, as well as links to contact support, can be found in the description below. Thank you for watching and happy deployments!